This is the tall and half kneeling kettlebell warm up. We have Austin here to help demonstrate. I love this drill because it's a great way to begin a workout and to get an appreciation of how you move right versus left and some of the, the joints throughout your body. So the, the first thing we need to do is find the right starting position. So I have Austin here uh, back in what we call a Japanese style sit. We're using a pad just for comfort, it's not required. And what we're gonna ask him to do is to move into what's called a tall kneeling posture. So he's gonna move his hips forward and through and what a lot, where a lot of people will go wrong is they'll stop just short of what we call a tall hips or getting the, those hips through, so it'll be here. And the problem is when we do that, then the low back has to round, okay, when you're in that tall posture. And then a lot of times as we go throughout the drill, they'll start getting biting pain in the low back. So it's really important as you move into the start position that you move through your hips into a tall kneeling posture right there, okay? And you'll just feel maybe a little stretch in the front here if you're, if you're a little bit tight, but you shouldn't feel any pressure in your low back. In fact, sometimes what I'll do when people are struggling is, if you come back here, is I'll have them push their back into my hand first, and then have them come up through their hips, and that sometimes will help them understand how to move better from your hips. But this is where the drill starts from. From here, we're going to have them grab a weight, and we're going to have them just hold it. So, what we don't want to do is allow any elbow bend. We want to push that, well, that weight down towards the ground. And all, what we're going to add now is the shoulders back. So from here, this is where the drill begins. Okay, so this is a good, a good way to practice posture, but we're also going to find that his mobility might change as we go through the drill. So starting from here, we're going to have him turn his head to the right. So we'll have him turn his head to the right. Okay, as he does that, Okay, he's just going to get an appreciation for how that feels, and then we're going to go back to the left. Okay, so we'll go back to the left, Austin, there. And then you'll just give me a nod if those felt about the same. Those feel about the same? Okay, good. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to add the upper back. So he's going to turn his head to the right, okay, and then he's going to turn his shoulders to the right, okay. Now, one of the mistakes we'll see here is people will fall out of this hip. So you want to stay nice and tall in the opposite hip, okay, as you make that turn. So he's kind of showing a bad example there. Good, and let's go to the left. So let's turn your head to the left, and let's turn your shoulders to the left. Okay, staying nice and tall. Very good. Okay, so now we'll come back to the middle. Let's turn your head to the right. Let's turn your shoulders to the right. And now you're gonna bring that weight around the outside of your thigh, and he's gonna stay nice and tall in this hip once again, okay? And I want you to just get a, get a mark of something you can see out of your corner of your eye that way, okay? And let's go to the left. So let's turn your head to the left, Let's turn your shoulders to the left. Let's bring that weight around to the left and get another idea of what you can see that way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have him identify what he can see so as we go through the drill, we can retest and see if anything's changed as, as we've done it. We're gonna move the weight back behind him now. So he'll put that weight back behind him. A lot of times if people are having trouble getting tall through the hips, this will make it easier. So they'll find it easier to hold the weight behind him and, and do this drill. Shoulders are still down and back. We're still tall in the hips. He's going to turn to the right with his head. Okay? Now he's going to turn to the left. Good. Now we're going to go head to the right, and we're going to go shoulders to the right. Okay? And as we do these, we're still trying to take an appreciation if everything feels the same right to left. What, another thing that you can see here with Austin is that his breathing's not changes as we do the drill. So he's nice and controlled with his breathing. Let's go to the left with your head, and let's turn your shoulders to the left. Very good. Okay? Let's go head to the right, let's go shoulders to the right, and let's bring that weight around to the left, okay? So, yeah, he's probably showing a little loss of posture there. We wanna stay, we wanna stay nice and tall right there. That's a lot better, okay? Push that weight down, good. All right, good, let's go to the left. So he's gonna turn head to the left, he's gonna turn his shoulders to the left, he's gonna bring that weight around to the right, and you're gonna stay nice and tall, pushing that weight down. And so I don't know if you guys can see that side bend, but that's something we want to avoid. You want to stay tall in the hips. It's a very common problem. Okay, very good. Now, to finish the drill, we're going to bring the weight back around front, and he's going to split his he's going to split one leg out to the side. So we'll start with his. You going to start with your left. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so here's the key. We still stay in tall in this hip. Okay, so he's not he's not going to go to here. So go show show a bad position. We're not there. That's not tall. Okay. This is tall, okay, so he's just pushing right through his glute. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure, he's gonna do a side bend here in a second. We're gonna make sure as he does it, 
that his knee doesn't collapse in. Okay, so we don't want any of this to happen. So I'm just going to mark it so you guys can see it. So we're going to mark the inside of his foot. And what he's going to do is he's going to side bend, and he's going to make sure his thigh doesn't touch that stick. Okay? And let's come back out of that. You get nice and tall right there, too. And don't go any deeper, then you can keep that alignment there. Good. Okay, let's go one more. So some people will feel a little stretch in the calf as well when we do this. Okay, so it's a great way to get, you're getting lots of different areas. You're probably feeling stretch in the groin. Yeah. Okay, let's go a little wider. Okay, and he's just going to do one more just to kind of show one or two. We'll go two more, but one more after that. Just keep this knee. There you go, right there. Get right into that groin. Good, so this is the side bend, okay? Now we're going to switch sides. I'll show the other side. So this is exactly how you can do the drill just to kind of warm up. It takes a little bit of time, but it's time well spent at the beginning of a workout. It's a great way to check in and see how you're doing. So same thing, you go ahead and side bend. Get a little taller there. Yeah. There, that's a lot better. Okay. Let's go one more. One more at that position, then we'll go wide. Okay, same thing. Good. One. And last one. Okay. Now, we don't want to, we want to see if anything's changed. So what we'll do at the end of your drill is you'll go ahead and back, tall kneeling, okay? You get back into that drill. We started with a test, okay? We, we, hopefully, you know, as you watch the video, you identified something you could see out of, out of each corner of your eye. So you're going to turn your head to the right. You're going to turn your shoulders to the right. You're going to bring that weight around to the right. You're going to go as far as you can, okay? And you're just going to appreciate if you've gone any further. Most people are going to find they can go significantly further after doing the drill. And that's a good thing. It represents increases in mobility, but also body control. And let's go to the left. Let's go head to the left. Let's go shoulders to the left. Let's bring that weight around to the left. Very good. Go ahead and come back to the middle. So this is the tall and half kneeling kettlebell warm up.